happening guys, my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you back to Bianchi's Road to Red Bull and this time we are in Bahrain for round number 4 of uh, this brand new season and brand new series on my channel. We qualified in 19th again, what a shocker. Is anyone surprised? Personally, I'm not. So we're down in 19th, we're behind uh, Hulkenberg and there's Kimi Raikkonen again. Weird how poor Raikkonen's qualifiers have been in both of my career by series. And as we see in the last episode, we said we wanted to beat the uh, Toro Rosso, Zona uh, or Daniel Ricciardo. And we saw a glimpse of him there. Look at the speed of Kovalainen there. We break very late going into this corner. No contact main. There's Jean Eric. So can we try and get there? As we got the inside of Bruno Senna and also get past Lewis Hamilton. Now we're side by side with Maldonado. Got past him, squeezing him out. Getting the slip screen up all the rest of. Now we're going to dive bomb it up the inside because it's a very easy move to make. Dive bomb it and we make contact with Sebastian Vettel but we hold the car together. And then we have Nico and Schumacher who in the last race we were behind and they were squabbling. But we get around the outside of Nico. Coming around now into this left hander. Are we going to be able to get Schumacher going into this corner? We break late. We get Schumacher. Can we get Vettel? We missed. We don't make contact with Vettel. But then Vettel cuts across us and does indeed make contact. That was Vettel's fault completely in my opinion personal opinion, uh, Vettel then they just cut up Jules and didn't let him have any room, uh, but we're up into sick and there's Sebastian Vettel off the track completely, unbelievable, he, go, he breaks late obviously, uh, I don't know, I don't think Jules done anything wrong there, but Jules is in sick and ooh, amazing there, car number one's off the track and the car he wants to beat is nowhere, nowhere to be seen, Mark Webber up in fifth, uh, that's obviously another car he wants to be, but if he finishes behind Webber, uh, that's just, that's fine, but at the moment he's in sick, this could be amazing, some real solid points for the uh, season, but there he goes and makes a stupid mistake, and now he's behind Michael Schumacher and John Eric Verne, wow, it could have been any other driver, wouldn't have mind, it could have been Pedro de la Rosa as far as he's concerned, but he's behind John Eric Verne now coming round onto the final corner, now on the back straight, look at that acceleration from the Toro Rosso, he's got no chance of holding it up or even keeping up with the car, so he might as well just let it, let it be and just go as well, as, go as long as he can holding up this, uh, the Williams and Maldonado, tries to break Lake into the corner but he cannot do it, it was too risky and he decides against it, coming on to lap 3 now and uh, we're coming around to this section and there we go again, a stupid mistake, so much back end, uh, the back end just flies out, and you know, I have to say the tyre's just too cold, and you just don't get any grip into these tyres quick enough, I don't know what it is with this car, just really hard to drive, we're down into ninth position now, uh, coming in onto lap 5, where we're going to come into the, uh, well, no actually, we're going to come around the final corner, and then we just get a little bit on the sand or whatever it is and we get lose the back end and this is my cue we're 14, head, uh, 14 seconds ahead of Holkenberg this is my cue to say okay let's just go let's get it over and done with let's just get this pit stop and let's see how well we can do so we're down in ninth we're going to go into the pits no one else is out so that's a clean clean pit stop for us let's see how fast they can go when we're under pressure and needing these valuable, valuable points down in ninth. We do a 3.4, isn't too bad. I would like it to be in twos, but you win some, you lose some. Coming out of the pits now, we're behind um, Sebastian Vettel, who's overtaking uh, Petrov. We break late. Can we get past? We can't. But, front, happily enough, we've, uh, we've made our pit stop, and we're behind Sebastian Vettel, only just coming up to lap 14 now, defending against Jensen Button in the very last lap of the race, nothing has happened as you can see, just been that defending, JB now looking around the outside, we're holding up, and we're going around into that final corner, no mistakes, getting a little bit onto the curb there, but we're going to look like we're going to take it, now, I wouldn't say this is dirty, just blocking off the, uh, Button there, but we take it, Button hasn't got a piece of his end play, which is very weird, but a fantastic job, nonetheless, we have taken up to two points here in Bahrain. Jules has done a fantastic job. He said how uh, he said in an interview afterwards how pleased he was to not only beat his teammate but also beat a driver like Sebastian Vettel, the guy who he wants to take his position. And what steps he's after Jules Bianchi. And even better, Sebastian hasn't scored any points. So qualifying from 19th, uh, finish 9th, 10 places gained. So, uh, fantastic performance. So, guys, just like I say, thank you for watching. My name is OTG. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. And also, please, uh, please subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I hope to see you back here very soon for some more news, views, and information here on my channel. Bye, guys.